Hey there, Maniac viewers. You watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day making this cool old world. So, that being said, topic of today's video is, and it is hot. I had the Sky CPX2 and Cryptek out. And what made me want to get this firearm out is I've not shot it in a while. And Hooty Who did a video where he was shooting his Sky CPX2 at 100 yards. Now, me, I could probably never hit anything at 100 yards. So we're at my standard 12 yard training distance in the backyard range. So we'll see what we can do at 12 yards with it. And another fun, interesting fact about this firearm is it used to be belonged to Hooty Who which then traded it to Paul at Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors, and I then bought it from Paul at Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. So this gun has had a lot of YouTube gun channel royalty on it. And, uh, I mean, do I consider myself royalty? No, but I consider Paul, and especially I consider Hooty Who gun channel royalty. So it went through both their hands, so that's pretty awesome. Okay. I've got some, a, uh, let's see what I've got in it. Got some of the uh, Minuteman 115 grain pull metal jacket. Well, I mean 115 grain jacketed hollow point plus peas in it. Defensive ammo. So it's been a while since I shot it. This ammo has been in it a while. Uh, I've had it in a good location. In case I ever needed to grab something. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shoot what ammo we got in it and uh, see how it does. And I got a little bit of full metal jacket ammo out here if we still want to have a little bit of fun after that. Let's see if I can't hit anything with it. It does have a long double action trigger pull. Let's see what I can do. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, we got some hot ammo in here. Yeah. It's going to hurt. <laughs> this thing's so light. Let's see if we can't get... We'll go with the small silhouette. It's got one shot from a previous video on it. But we'll see what kind of group we can get. That one shot is like right in the middle right here on that small silhouette. So we know not to count that. Let's see if I can't hit anything at all with this thing. Well, I really messed with it. Alright. Let's try to get four more on there. Oh, daddy, my time. Oh, daddy, my time. Little slightly low left. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, here we go. Try to get two more on it. All right. We got five on it. Probably about roughly a six inch group. At least a little bit slightly low left. Alright, let's see if we can't plug on some steel now with this good defensive ammo. That's what I'm going to put back in it more nicely. Here we go. Alright, we 
we can hit the big silhouette. See if we can't hit that small plate. Can we that small plate? Well, we missed the baby plate hit the next plate beside it. So we'll see if we can hit that plate again. We definitely hit it. Okay, we are clear. She locked back. Let's put that other in there. All right. Here we go. All right, we got to hit that other baby plate above that head target on the left. See what we can do. Well, we hit that head target, but we didn't hit that baby plate. Go to the next plate, the big plate. What the hell, the hell out of here? You can feel these dead gun plus peas. This light gun, I can tell you. See if we can hit that next. That's it. That's it. We nailed it. You really, really got to watch where that hammer breaks on this thing to make sure. You're hitting what you're aiming at. Here we go. Hit that last baby plate on the bottom. And we nailed it. All right. See if we can't pop that shaving cream on the left there. This plus three, y'all, will take care of it. Missed it. Missed it. I don't like missing shaving cream like that. Too good a ammo. Well, we just barely knocked him over, but we didn't, we didn't get him. All right, so what we got to do is, we got to get up here and pop this thing. Get and pop it. We are out. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I got some cellular bellow 
124 grain full metal jacket. Let's load up this magazine here and uh, we'll see if we can't pop that thing. Okay, folks, so we got 10 rounds loaded up of the cellular and bellow 124 grain full metal jacket. I'm gonna go pop that shaving cream. Might probably get a little close to it after I pop that shaving cream. I'm gonna back up and we'll see what kind of damage we can do to uh, Timmy Bobby and see how fast we can shoot it and actually hit it. Here we go. We are hot. Well, we finally popped it. We should got nine left in this thing. All right, now, that, uh, that shaving cream down there, that's the UGO shaving cream, or the uh, United Grocery Outlet, UGO uh, Grocery Outlet, uh, Bargain Barn. It's affiliated with those grocery companies. But that's the kind that I shot, and it don't do too good. So we won't be buying no more of that. You get more bang with your buck with the Dollar Tree kind. All right, now. We're just going to have a little fun on Timmy Bobby there. See how fast we can actually get something on target. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Seemed to do pretty good. A little bit all over the place. We hit it every time. We got some of them towards the center, center mass of him. Not too bad. So, that being said, I didn't even clean up this thing. So, uh, it's got some old oil on it. Uh, it's been sitting for a long time in a uh, location in case I need to get to it if I can. Uh, for a pocket gun, you know, I believe I'm going to have to switch to this again. I've carried it before in the pocket. I kind of worried about the uh, long double action trigger pull on it about getting follow-up shots, but uh, I think for self-defense distance, you know, 10, 15 yards or less, more likely to be less, this thing will do just fine, and I think I'm going to start carrying it again because uh, my Kimber Micro 9 and me are not getting along right now, and it's, it's a shame. I love my Kimber Micro 9. I'm more accurate with it than this, but, you know, it is what it is. This little $200 pistol, well, it's probably about $400 now, but this little $200 pistol right here is just... More accurate than my Camber Micro 9, which was a $500 pistol. Shame, but it is what it is. So I guess that attests to the skies. As long as you watch that trigger pull, you can hit what you're aiming at. If I practice with it a little bit more, I can even hit them baby places I missed. It is what it is. But anyway, thank y'all for watching the Main Man Channel. This was this plinking with some old defensive ammo before I loaded up with some new. Uh... And like I say, thank y'all for watching and watching me plank with the Sky CPX2 and Cryptek that used to be owned by Hootie Who and used to be owned by Powell from Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors and now it's owned by the main man. They are pretty decent pistols, you know, just a trigger pull, that's the, that's the only thing about them. But they're reliable. You saw it shot that hot plus P, shot it pretty good too. Uh... I'd well, like to say, folks, please make sure you check me out on Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Oogetube, Parlor if I ever get it back up and running, Gunstreamer, uh, 
Appreciate all y'all support there. And every one of those you follow me on, you get an entry in the big giveaway, which will happen in the spring or the summer. And uh, until next time, and until you hear different for a pocket gun, I'm going to be switching back to the Sky CPX2 in Cryptek. Thank y'all, and I'll catch you next time.